There are two types of products in the credit store, master and child. Products that are designated as master will allow the users to earn or get credits. Products that are designated as child will allow the users to redeem their earned credits. Now let's take a look at how to create the master product. You can go to the DAP products manage page and create the master just like any other regular DAP product. Now we'll not cover the details of how to create a like regular DAP product in this video. Um, but basically you can give it a name, fill up the other fields, go to the pricing tab, designate the product as a subscription product or a free product or a one-time product, whatever you need uh, it to be. Then you can go to the notifications tab and uh, fill in the details there. In the content responder set, uh, tab, you can set the content that belongs to the product. Now, if it's going to be a dummy master where the users just purchase the master product to earn credits, you can do that too. So it could be a dummy master created just to allow the users to earn credits, or it could be a regular DAP product designated as master that allows the users to not just earn uh, credits, but also have access to dripped content under it. Now, after you create the master product in the products page and fill up all of these tabs, uh, you can go to the DAP admin credit store storefront settings page, select the master product that you just created and then fill in all these text boxes, the short description, long description, because all this appears in the credit storefront. Redeemable with credit should be set to no because this is a master product. Is master product should be set to yes. And here, as you can see, you can set the number of credits the users will earn when they sign up to this product. So initial number of credits as soon as they purchase the product or sign up to this product would be 20. And if it's a subscription product, then the number of credits the users will earn upon each subscription payment, you can set that and it can be different than the initial number of credits. So you can set that to any number you want. If you don't want them to earn subscription credits, you can just set it to zero. So you can have, say, your gold membership product resulting in users getting five monthly subscription credits. And you can have, say, your platinum membership resulting in users receiving 10 subscription credits. So you can use credits as an incentive to make your users sign up to the higher level membership because not only will they get access to the dripped content, but they will also receive additional credits as bonus uh, for them signing up to the higher level membership.